God says whatever wicked thing that they would say to you, whatever they would say to you. God says, what you're really doing is you're really saying that to me. You're really saying it to Jesus Christ. And you see, when you stand in the judgment, and you will, and when you take the knee, and when you take the knee and you declare that Jesus Christ is Lord, yes, you'll do that too. You will do that too. You'll say, Jesus Christ is Lord. He'll say, I don't know you. No I, I never knew you. I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. <laughs> See, he's probably, he's probably an ex-Catholic right there. That's sad. That's sad. You see that you said the multitudes will come to me on that day. And they'll say, Lord, Lord, we've done all these wonderful things for you. Then we said, he's there going to say, oh, we fed the homeless. We gave them jackets and shirts and clothes. And we stood with them. We stood with the homosexual. And we said, it's okay. It's okay. And God is going to say, When I was hungry, you did not feed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. When I was in prison, you did not visit me. When I needed you, you said, I don't know you. When the homeless man came up to you on the street, you said, I, I don't know you. You said, get a job. No, I That's what you said. No, you didn't. Talk about Jesus. But to the ones on the right, shh. But to the ones on the right, he said, when I was hungry, you gave me food to eat. Well, God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. And then he said, when I was hungry, you fed me. When I needed clothes, you clothed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. And then to the, those on the left, the ones that did not serve him, they're going to say, when, Lord, when did we not do these things for you? When you didn't do it for the least of my people. You didn't do it for me. You see, I say religion destroys, religion kills. I don't want you to be religious. I want you to open your Bibles up and I want you to have a real relationship with Jesus Christ. Well, it might be boring to you because you don't understand. You don't have eyes to see. You don't have eyes to see. You don't have ears to hear. You see, the Bible's incredible. All these things that you do, they're all written in the Bible. They're all recorded. That you would know that, that God hates these things. You see, God said out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Whatever's in your heart comes out your mouth. It, it really mouth. does. Well, that's, that's what's in your heart is your ass. Because that's what came out of your mouth. It's filthy. You need to be clean. You need to be washed. Jesus Christ said, I'll wash you. I'll take my blood and I'll wash you. That you'll be white as snow. All the sin will be gone. All the sin, as far as the east is from the west, never to be remembered again. That's a free gift. A free gift. It's available to anyone that calls upon the name of the Lord. Will you call upon his name today? Will you be set free? Will Jesus Christ set you free today? Or will you die in your sin? Hey, he's coming just for guys like you. For guys that get really upset. You know why you get really upset? Because you're desperately wicked. Above all deceitful. Who can know you but God? And he does. He knows you. He knows what you're afraid of. He knows what you like. 
He knows what's in your heart. He looks at you, examines you. He examines the man. I know it's okay. I know you're upset. Don't be upset. Call upon the name of the Lord. He'll show great mercy to you. Just like he did to me. Oh man, I'm going to sit down with you and talk to you and tell you my tell you my story. Tell you about what happened to me. I was just like a dog wallowing in the vomit, walking down the street, looking at every single girl that walked by, and I go, wow, she's better looking than my wife. Wow, she's got bigger boobs. Wow, she's more shapely. Wow, she's got better legs than that. And then God touched me. I know I was a pervert. I was a pervert. And then God raised me up. He raised me up. He showed great mercy. That's just wrong. I'm, What's wrong? I'm, I'm Catholic. I'm I know, that's wrong. I'm sorry. Nowhere in the Bible would you find the word Catholic. Nowhere in the Bible will you find the word Mormon. But anyway, I digress. I want to get back. I want to get back to my testimony. I want to get back to my testimony. About what love is. You see, I stole many things. I stole many things. I told many lies. I spoke about my brothers, about my neighbors behind their back, and God said, oh, that's wrong. Don't do that, Steve. And he began pruning me. Pruning me. Pruning me. I had a bad attitude, just like you. He cut off all those branches that did not bear fruit. But the ones that, were, that remain. How happy you are. There's a Christian here that they did. I'm blessing you. I'm blessing you. I'm blessing you. He took those lies away from me. He took that stealing away. Cut it off. Cut it off. Cut it off, Lord. So I said, Lord, I want to walk with you. I don't want to do what pleases you. I confess my sin. And God is just and faithful to free, to free you, to set you free from your wickedness. He can do it for any of you. If you guys would have known me before, you'd say, oh, you're right. Oh, he's so different now. He's so different now. You know? He gets home and he opens his Bible and he reads his Bible and says, Lord, show me something today. I want to see something new. I want to see your love. I want to see. I want to see. Do I have a lighter? What would I need a lighter for? I need to use what? Oh, you don't want a cigarette? Cigarettes kill you. They destroy the body. That's bad. That's bad. Don't do that. Why are you so mad? I love you. I'm sorry that you're so mad. Maybe we can talk later. We can talk later. You keep coming back, man. Welcome back. You keep coming back. See, you know that I love you. You know that I care about you. That's why you keep coming back. No, I don't want you to get married to another man. That's sick. That's wicked. But anyway, back to my testimony. Well, praise the Lord. Hey, how's that? Is that better? You see, this is how I was before. I was looking through glasses, and they were dimly lit. And then God said, whoa, look at that. I gave you eyes to see. Now you can see. But this is you. Not seeing things the way they really are. This is you. This is you walking in sin. But God would delight to do this work in you. In you. In you. In you. In you. In you. You see, God doesn't delight in the death of the wicked, but then all men would come to repentance. That they would come to the Son. He who the Son sets free is free indeed. You want to be a slave to your sin through all of your life and then die and go to hell? You want to be a slave? You guys are slaves right now. You're slaves right now. Slave and proud. Pride is an abomination. That's the number one thing God hates. Pride. Haughty eyes. A lying tongue. Feet that are quick to shed blood. God hates these things. God hates these things. Don't do that. Don't do that, man. That is really sad. In that same way, God will destroy you unless you repent. Unless you repent, you too will all likewise perish. 
That's okay. You do whatever you want to do. That's all right.